My first price target for ArcBlock's native token called ABT in 2025 is $70. Now, of course, nothing I say is financial advice nor a guarantee, but why do I think so? It's because I believe that ArcBlock is a very amazing project, and I think the use case is A+. And let me show you what I'm talking about, because, for instance, ArcBlock, it's aiming to simplify the process of decentralized application and blockchain development. Now, some people may think that, okay, this is kind of weird, like who cares about simplifying nonsense like this? But in my opinion, this is very crucial because if you take a look at it, even though there's like many blockchains out there, even though there's many applications as of right now, I think there's more that's going to pop up in the future. You know, this right here is crucial because of course you want things easier. You want things more efficient. So man, when it comes to ArcBlock, it really has its sites in the right area, so to speak, because the way I view it is that they understand that, hey, the crypto space overall is going to grow. They understand that blockchain adoption is going to increase. So what is a way to tap into that? Again, by aiming to simplify the process of decentralized application and as well as blockchain development. This is the genius of ArcBlock. Not to mention, if we take a look at ArcBlock, right, the core of it is reusable and composable software components, which in this case are called blocklets. Now, it should be noted, though, that any application on ArcBlock is either a blocklet or is made up of, you know, a blocklet. So, yeah, I think that should be taken into consideration. However, besides that point, you know, it's even been noted that applications on ArcBlock can support almost any mainstream blockchain service, including Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin, and of course, many others. So, yeah, basically all the big dogs, you know, when it comes to ArcBlock, man, it has that covered in a sense. This is how amazing they are. Not to mention, we take a look at how when it comes to ArcBlock, you know, we'll see that it has a fantastic AI kit. Now, some people may be thinking, okay, what do you mean an AI kit? This is kind of caca. But here's the thing. It's even been noted that this can quite essentially enable any application to have AI capabilities. Now, this right here, I think, is so impressive because as we all know, you know, the hype for AI as of right now really isn't the best. But in my opinion, better days are ahead. Because if we take a look at it, right, according to Grandview Research, the AI market by 2030 is predicted to be worth nearly $2 trillion. That's very impressive right there. You got to think about how when it comes to the AI market, it's no joke. Again, even though the hype as of right now may not be the best, I think better days are ahead. You got to take into consideration, for instance, right, that figure is crazy. The GDP of Canada back in 2022 was around $2 trillion. So again, when a market is predicted to be worth nearly $2 trillion, basically in the next five years, because we're so close to 2025, you know, I think that right there truly puts into imagination just how impressive the market could hypothetically be. And also, let's not forget, right, when it comes to ArcBlock, you know, they're even focused on decentralized identity as well. Now, this right here, I think is also a very interesting market that hasn't really gained attention or hype. But in my opinion, it could very well do that. And I think there's also a bright future ahead when it comes to this one, because you take a look at, for instance, according to Grandview Research yet again, because they like to predict things, you know, by 2030, the decentralized identity market is expected to be worth over $100 billion. So yeah, that's pretty crazy right there. Again, you know, the market may not be predicted to be the largest out there, but in my opinion, this is still a step in the right direction. If I take a look at ArcBlock, you know, it may not be the most flashy project out there. It may not have the most attention. And it's kind of simple in a sense, because if you take a look at it, it's not really like focused on random things and it doesn't have too many components to it for no reason. And I really like that because sometimes there's beauty and simplicity. And also, you know, a project doesn't need like a hundred different areas of focus in order to be considered great. You know, as long as they're focused on a couple of things that have great potential, I think that's enough. So when it comes to ArcBlock, again, it may not be the flashiest, it may not be the coolest, but I think it's fundamentally very amazing. You know, the way you take a look at something like ArcBlock, it's like that one dancer that only does a couple moves, but they do it very well. But then I take a look at some other projects out there that have like a hundred different components or whatever. It's like that one dancer that keeps like doing backflips for no reason and stuff like that. But then the dance moves look complete caca. You know what I mean? It just kind of gives me that vibe. You know, that's just the way I view it. So when it comes to something like ArcBlock, again, I think it's one of the best projects out there. And I think it's very amazing. At least that's the way I view it. So with all that taken into consideration, is APT at the price of $70 during this boron too much to ask for? No, I don't think so. As my first price target, you know, yeah, I don't think it's too ridiculous. At least that's the way I view it. Now, my second price target is ABT at the price of $85. Now, some people may think that, okay, this is kind of a lot, you know, 
what do you mean by this, right? But I disagree because again, just like I mentioned in the first part of the video, you know, ArcBlock has amazing fundamentals and ABT reaching this price doesn't seem too insane. Keep in mind, if it were to reach that price, considering current circulating supply, market cap would be around $8.4 billion. So it's not too bad. Okay, let's say it's eight and a half. Let's say we make it more simple, right? Even that's not too much to ask for. I mean, for instance, this isn't even 25% of Shiba Inu's all-time high market cap. You know, keep in mind, Shiba Inu at one point reached around $40 billion in market cap. So again, right, this isn't even like one-fourth of that. This is how crazy this is. Not to mention, we've seen Dogecoin reach over $80 billion in market cap. So when it comes to this, it's not really this outlandish and crazy market cap that no one's heard before. At least that's the way I view it. And again, like below a $10 billion market cap, it seems like peanuts in the grand scheme of things, really. I'm not saying that ArcBlock has the fans of like a Shiba Inu and a Dogecoin, but still, right? This is like so minuscule. I mean, really. And even at that point, that's already around a 55x from here. So we got to think about that. You know, ArcBlock just achieving okay growth in a sense. It's already fantastic in my opinion. So when it comes to ABT, sometimes people like to think that, oh, wow, it needs to be like the next big thing in order to be considered a success. No, again, right, reaching around $8.5 billion market cap, already around a 55x from here. It's not too caca, at least that's the way I view it. Not bad at the end of the day. And I don't think it's unrealistic, again, at the price of $85. Now, my next and final price target is ABT at the price of $100, which I'm maintaining, by the way, as my most bullish case price target for this bull run. And why is that? It's because I do believe that this bull run could be something very special. I mean, you got to think about how, you know, back in 2021, I think we can all agree that that bull run that year was very impressive. Yeah, of course, right? But during the peak of that bull run, there was actually roughly only around 300 million crypto owners, which wasn't actually bad at that time and was considered very impressive. But as of right now, there is over 600 million, according to Crypto.com research. So that's basically like double the amount of crypto owners right now. And we're not even during the peak of the bull run yet. I mean, that's kind of crazy to think about. Now, even besides that point, you also take a look at the Bitcoin ETF, the number of institutional investors, the amount of enterprise adoption. It's absolutely massive. You also take a look at the Ethereum ETF. I think it's just very positive for the whole crypto space overall. So when I take all of this into consideration, is Bitcoin going to the price of, let's say, $150,000 during this bull run too much to ask for? I don't think so. You know, I don't think it's too crazy of a goal. And I think if Bitcoin were to do that, I think it's only fair to assume that a lot of altcoins, much like ABT, they're going to go along with the ride. You know, as the old saying goes, right, a high tide raises all ships, meaning that if let's say the sentiment is positive, let's say the bull run is in fifth gear, so to speak, it's only fair to assume that something like ABT is going to join that ride and hypothetically during the process go to the price of $100. You know, I don't see why not. I don't think it's too much to ask for. At least that's the way I view it. And here's the thing as well. You have to consider how you know, we may not even be waiting that much longer anyways, because historically speaking, as a worst case scenario, altcoins, they've been known to peak around a year and a half after a Bitcoin halving event. Now, the last Bitcoin halving event happened basically around half a year ago, you know, in April. So a year and a half from then is basically a year from right now, which is around October of 2025, which is why I taught this video, 2025 prize targets. But even besides that, could altcoins peak sooner? Yes, but personally for me, I don't think something like ABT, for instance, is going to peak like in 2024. I think it's going to take some time because I think around six months from right now, a year from right now, things could be so different. You know, I think in 2025, hypothetically, you know, we could very well see Bitcoin at the price of $150,000. At least that's just my hypothetical prediction. I think if that were to happen again, ABT at the price of $100, I don't see why not. And here's the thing. My buying strategy is literally so simple. It's anytime I earn income, I'm acquiring ABT, I'm holding, and I'm just waiting. That's it. I'm dollar cost averaging. Now, what is the beauty about this, right? The amazing thing about dollar cost averaging is that by constantly accumulating, if let's say the price does dip, you know, it doesn't really matter anyways because I never went all in, so I'll still be able to accumulate on the quote-unquote dip, and then I'll be able to lower down my average cost. But then on the flip side, if let's say the price does pump, right, if that does again happen, you know, the amazing thing about it is that I don't miss out on it because I was holding the entire time anyways. You know, I wasn't day trading. I wasn't using leverage. I wasn't swing trading. So it's not like I have to guess every single time, oh, is it going to pump? Is it going to do this? No, it's just very simple, right? When I believe in something, I just constantly accumulate it over a period of time. And then that way, again, I think I'm protected from both sides, so to speak. And that's what I really like about dollar cost averaging. So when it comes to ARC block, 
I think it's arguably one of the best projects out there. It's very simple in nature, so to speak, but I think it's very amazing. And I think that its focus is in the right area. So again, ABT at the price of $100 during this bull run, that right there wouldn't surprise me whatsoever, especially when I consider just how amazing this bull run could very well be. And by the way, feel free to become a channel member if you want to, if you want to get a prioritized response from me in the comments. And also you can use these cool badges. So I think it's pretty fantastic. Also on top of that, make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.